To search for something in the library catalog, from the front page, you can enter your search term into this box right here. Or if you're elsewhere on the website at any time, you can hover over books and then click on library catalog. But for now, on the front page, we're going to search for Harry Potter. On the search results page, you can see that we have two different versions of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. We have the book and then we have the film. So for the book, we see it is available in four different formats. We get book, which is the regular physical copy, ebook, which is the digital version, audio, which is an audio CDs, e-audio, so you can download to your computer or mobile device. And if you take a little look down here, you'll see that the provider for this one is Overdrive, so you'd be using the Overdrive app. Status of it is unavailable. Somebody else has currently borrowed this, but you can place a hold here. Going back to the book copy, you see that we have two different ones here, zero of one. This means this one is checked out. And then for the second one, it has one of six, which means there is one currently available. So if you place your hold right now, the library will go and get it off the shelf and put it on hold for you behind the welcome desk. Now, if you look over here on the left, you'll see that you've got some filters you can search for. And our website, it is searching for the words Harry Potter Goblet of Fire. Each of those five words will bring up anything in our catalog which has any of those. And it is sorted by the most popular things that people have placed holds on. So if I wanted to see over here on the left, and I only wanted to see the book version, I would just click on that, and you'll see that the catalog is going to refresh itself. Ta-da! So now we're only going to see things which are called Harry Potter in a book format here. And now that you have found what you're looking for, just place your hold by clicking on it. You are now going to be directed to log into the website if you haven't logged in previously. And what you're going to put in here is your email address that you gave the library when you first signed up for your library card. The second field is for your library card number. Go ahead and enter that. And once you have your library card number in, click on login to finish placing your hold. That success message means that your hold went through and the library will retrieve that book for you and put it behind the welcome desk.